spotted our first mature stags of the trip. Two of them. This is fun. Glassed over a lot of country before we found these two, but they bedded in a really hard spot to put a stock with the bow. But, wow, that one's a good one. Really? Good stay. Wow. That was cool. They're so pretty. They looked to me like a, just similar, a lot similar to an elk with just a bunch of trash on the top. The crown, they call it. So we've got actually four stags now all together, and uh, two of them are the ones that we've been looking for. So um, they're about 700 yards down this ridge, but they're in a super hard spot to uh, stalk with a bow. We'll see what happens. Marcus either fell asleep later for a while. What's that? A pretty suit all day, yeah. All day. I don't think that was the majority of the night. Probably around lunch, probably get up for a bit of a Christ, but I got everything I need. Yeah. They like to be in the sun, which is crazy to me. Like, I want to be in the temper and shade. These things come out and they don't really get active until it gets a little warmer, but uh, they just lay down there on that ridge. The sun, but man, the one is absolutely they're all beautiful, but the one is so cool. We're like kind of cleft out here, glass down here, and they're sitting right down there. All right, we dropped down quite a ways. We're up on that highest point up there. And we dropped down, just looked into this canyon where we saw him go there. Found one. But still like 300 yards out <laughs> and uh, they're out in the middle of the open so we're gonna go down lower play the wind the wind's kind of blowing down so we're gonna try to go down below and come up over and see what they do but uh, this intense reminds me so much of stalking the old deer the other one. We got Zach out here. I want to spend a couple days hunting with him and helping him and filming him. So, oh, there they go. I'm going to shoot this in with my, with my rifle real quick.
I, <laughs> I commend myself to uh, trying to shoot one with my bow. Man, we've been chasing around all day. And we saw this one, I'm like, I absolutely love that thing. I was like, you know what? I want to shoot my Weatherby at that thing. I want to kill out with my Weatherby. 400 yards across this canyon. It's absolutely beautiful standing on the skyline. There's gorgeous mountains behind it. I just made this decision. I said, yeah, I'm going to shoot that thing with my Weatherby. Six and a half by 300. See what it does. Drop that thing. Dropped him. And now I can go and help Eric. And I can go and film Zach's hunt. But that was cool. So cool. I get so excited out here. I always say that. If I ever lose the giddiness and the excitement of hunting, then I think I'll be done. But I'm 35 years old and I've been doing it for 20 years, 23 years. And I get more excited every hunt. I learn something new every hunt. I obtain. Obtaining the knowledge, obtaining information, obtaining memories and experiences. That's what it's all about. <laughs> ah, I get emotional too. When I, wrote, when I was about 15 years old, I read an article about somebody wrote in a magazine about stag hunting in New Zealand and they compared it to elk hunting. And ever since then, wanted to come over here and shoot a stag. I've never never had the desire to go do exotics in in Africa or anything like that. I've always just wanted to come to New Zealand and shoot a stag and I just did it. I just did it. Wow. I'm excited. <sighs> Look at that. He was standing right over there in that ridge on that canyon. Or on that ridge. I'm sorry. Look what I was looking at. <laughs> Guys, we started this hunt up there this morning. Walked that whole ridge line down up on this thing. Spotted them. They're right here. Put move on them. We busted them. Thought it was over. When you spook these stag, they go. Sometimes we spook two and they probably travel two miles within 15 minutes. Was fun. We were on our way up to meet up with Casey, but next yeah, thing you know, the, where the gunshot come from. radio goes off and they tell us to stop. That was followed by some gunshots, some really loud ones. So they think Casey shot a stab. We're not sure though. We're just checking it out right now. Back and forth we go. We crossed that canyon earlier. Go stalk them. And then they came out, they smelled us. They came out over here, so shot them right here off this ridge. And now we're back. These canyons are deep. That super green stuff down there. It's thick, thick, thick. Man, this is fun. Have I said that enough, guys? This is fun. Well, it's confirmed, Casey shot a stag. So Casey is right on that rock point. It looks like he shot straight across and the stag is just barely um, on our side of this ridge. So we're gonna hike up right here, maybe meet up with those guys, cross and get up to him. But that stag's at the tip top of that mountain right there. So uh, cool, looks like a big one too. I can just see one side of its antler and it's got a lot of points on the crown. So I bet it was a good one if Casey wanted to pull out the rifle. Get the weather be six and a half out there and shoot across. Look at this stack. Look at this thing. Man. It's crazy. Luckily, Eric and Andy and Britt were coming around pick us up because we just made one long hike and they were gonna come pick us up at the bottom they were showing up in the in the buggy we stopped them so they stopped and I shot them and now they're headed up to help it's always good to have help packing one of these out I'm sure I'm gonna wait for my buddies before I walk down there 
and enjoy this moment together. Hi, Eric. Hi. How is it up there? It's nice and flat. You should come up here. Hi, Andy. Hello. Hi, Brett. Almost there. I can see the antlers. <laughs> Ooh, it's steep country. There's a hunter and a stag. Ooh. Those dark antlers. Awesome. Thanks, dude. That's so fun. I got so excited. <laughs> you got excited, huh? Oh, up on the Wow. Look at this. They are so heavy. <laughs> Look at that crown. spotted him this morning and I got so excited. There's four of them. There was a bigger one than this, but I'm like, I like that guy. He's so dark. And we chased him forever, man. We'll just back and forth up here and then we put a stock on with a bow. And he smelled us at like 60 yards. And he took off. He came up on this ridge. He's standing skyline. I'm like, I want to shoot my weather bee at that thing. Holy smokes. Cool. Look at that. This is the one that he had pictures of he showed me right when I got here. It's like, yeah, I want to shoot that. I can't believe how heavy they are, huh? Yeah, look at that. So when you stalked him, they were on the other side? We came over all the way up top, past that rock, and spotted them. They came up, and they were like down this little bench. And then they took off and came over in this canyon. So then we bailed down here and came up over the top of here. And we stopped at that rock first and looked down. I spotted one right in the middle, this one. Oh my God, they're still there. So they were feeding this way. We came up over this ridge. And right when we crested it, they heard us. And they took off up here. Oh, crap. And then they took off over the top and then they came back. And I was gonna shoot, shoot them with my rifle then. And then I said, and then they kind of took off. I was like, that's all right. Let's go put a stock on with the bow. So we stalked in, they were, there was three of them took off. This one was laying right below that rock, like 60 yards. So we got up to the rock and we were glass. We're like, man, I thought he was still here. Maybe he bailed off right down at glass. I'm like, oh, there he goes. Jumped up 60 yards below us and took the off. And then they circled around. This one ran up here for another little one. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I was going to say, it's so close to the skyline. It must be like, dang, it he's probably so about cool. to get away. Oh, yeah. And he just stood there. The other one took off and he stood there for like 10 minutes while we tried to decide what was going to happen. Wow. How oh, cool. Look at that. So cool. Casey I getting mean, all like, the stills. Andy shooting all the still pictures. Just got to hike down to the road where the buggies are. <clears throat> Buggy won't come up here. <laughs> How's it feel? Bring the buggy up. It's heavy, but not bad. I'm gonna do a European mount on this thing. That will look That's super so cool. Excited. Yeah. Down the ridge. Yep. Looks like you have a spider over you when you turn towards me. A spider? Hey, yeah, like a rep. Where? Huh? That's cool. All right, here we go. Everyone's packed up and headed down. I know Trevor and Zach both shot their tar so they're getting helicop helicoptered out of their camp today so we should be able to see those guys tonight which is going to be super cool to be reunited again then the hunt will carry on both of them have stag tags um we'll probably meet up with them and go film their hunts for now we got to just get this one down the mountain andy getting all the shots 
This is some big country, guys. Check this out. Those guys heading down. We got snow-capped tops all the way in the background. Those mountains are way up there. <laughs> 